Come on, Nick. I want to see what happens next. <laughs> More chips, Judge? <laughs>
I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Mm -hmm. Thinking it strange, I looked inside the apartment. Then I saw mm -hmm. her lying there, a woman, dead, not moving, dead. I quelled in fright and found myself unable to go inside. Mm -hmm. I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. Press. <clears throat> I'm just checking. Do you know that's it? Press it. No, 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 no. Pressing doesn't, like, do anything bad. It just oh, makes yeah. them tell you more about it. Uh, my free remote made a noise. Okay. Hold it! The phone in her apartment wasn't working. Y yes Or, yes, I mean, no. No, it wasn't, right? But you said you didn't go into the apartment, or did you? Oh, oh, that. I can't explain that. There was a cordless phone on the shelf in the entranceway. I reached inside and tried to call using that. And that phone wasn't working, correct? What happened next? I went, uh, I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. Uh, whoops. I remember the time exactly, it was 1pm. Alright, I think that's where the contradiction is, so let's check the passport. Uh, how do you check? That's it. That's, that's all you get? That's all you get on the passport. Look at the black. black no, it's supposed to get. Alright. Look at the black hat right And then look at the uh, autopsy report. Uh, autopsy report. Time of death. Four to five. He said Objection! one. Objection! There you go. You found the body at one, one o'clock p.m., are you sure? <laughs> yes, it was one o'clock p.m., for certain. Frankly, I find that hard to believe. Your statement directly contradicts the autopsy reports. Man, the autopsy, this is getting good. The autopsy notes that the time of her death is sometime after 4 p.m. There is nobody to, eh, no body to find at 1 p.m. How do you explain this three-hour gap? <laughs> oh, well, that. Um, uh, <laughs> Objection! Thanks for the chips. <laughs> <laughs> Judge. Another objection! This is trivial. The witness merely forgot the time. After his testimony, I find that hard to believe. Mr. Sawit. Why were you so certain that you found the body at 1 p.m.? Hey, uh, uh, well I, gee, that's a really good question. Uh, great job, Wright. Way to put him in my... Uh, I don't want that. Way to put him off the spot. That's all you have to do. Point out contradictions. L lies always beget more lies. See through this one, and their whole story falls apart. Alright, see through one. Ooh. Uh. Wait! I remember now. Would you care to give a your testimony again? Time of discovery. You see, when I found the body, I heard the time. There was a voice saying the time. It was probably coming from the television. Oh, but it was a three hours off, wasn't it? I guess the victim must have been watching a video or a, of a tape program. That's why I thought it was one o'clock p.m. Terribly sorry about the misunderstanding. And the blackout report. Mm -hmm, it was mm -hmm. from noon to 6 p.m. Fuck you, Frank. Um, I see. You heard a voice saying the time on a taped program. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Right. You know what to do. I've got this one. The time of discovery. Alright, 
Cole has the controller for this one, so he has to yeah. figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. This one's easy. Yeah. I really want some fucking chips, so I had to grab some. Yeah. Thanks for the chips, Judge. Whack out. You didn't say objection. Objection! Hold it right there. The prosecution has said there was to be a blackout at the time of the discovery. And this record proves it. <laughs> you couldn't have heard the television. Or a video. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I well. <laughs> The defense has a point. Do you have an explanation for this, Mr. Sawit? No, I find it quite puzzling myself. <laughs> quite. Yeah, wait, I remember now. Mr. Sawit? The court would prefer to hear. An accurate testimony from the very beginning. These constant corrections are harming your credibility. That and you seem... Oh wait, it's you. That and you seem rather... Distraught. Uh, my apologies, your honor. I uh, must have been... It must have been the shock of finding the body. Very well, Mr. Short. Let's hear your testimony once more, please. Hearing the time. Actually, I didn't hear the time. I saw it. There was a table clock in the apartment, wasn't there? Yeah, the murder weapon. The killer used it on to hit the victim. That must have been what I saw. He shouldn't have known, though, it was a clock. You saw a clock? I guess that would explain it. The defense may cross-examine the witness. On the next episode. On Booty Guy! X. Shut up. <laughs> It'd be better if you just said Dragon Ball Z. On Phoenix Wright Z! On DBZXT49 or 12 Echo Bravo <laughs> 16.